so hey guys welcome back to my channel today i know you can already tell what this is and if you follow me on instagram you already have an inkling what this video is about to be about if you don't follow me on instagram make sure that you follow me right now it's lucille batiste just like my name on here so make sure you press that follow button don't forget to subscribe Press that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads from Lucy Batiste. But that's right. Today, guys, I'm going to do an unboxing. Can you figure out what it's going to be about? Guys, like, I recently went on a trip. And I ended up in a store that I didn't expect to be in. And I did unspeakable things that I didn't expect to do. Like, buying another bag. So yes, today I am doing an unboxing of my most recent Prada purchase. This isn't the real bag, okay? That's just a little a small, a little key bag. This is the big baby. This is the big baby. Boom, boom, boom. And, you know, the aesthetics. The aesthetics look at this just like the gift wrapping makes me not want to like open it I don't want to open it look at the rip like guys yeah let's just do this in slow-mo for you guys this is like my first time opening this so I don't even know oh and the interior of this box is just like the other one that I purchased the Prada all inside like I'm keeping these boxes guys and it's just like so crisp the paper is like so perfect and crisp mm -hmm. and like layered oh! and it's in the dust bag already so you guys know my first designer bag was was my Safiano leather um, Prada tote the large Prada tote that I got um, around for my birthday which means this has only been my birthday was in February and it's now June so it's only been four four months and I'm buying another bag that can't be right that's a little bit much it's a little bit much for you guys this is the bandolera soft calf crossbody bag you guys are about to see. This is a beautiful, beautiful bag. Oh, baby. Woo. Yes, 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 yes. This is quilted soft calf leather. Woo. You know I'm all for the patterns, guys. You guys already know that. I am like all about the pattern. The reason, the bag that this reminds me of is the Marmot the Gucci Mama bag and everyone has that bag everybody has that bag it is of course you know I love black love it um, but I love the quilted leather part of the bag which is really pretty to me the G's the Gucci G's are a little bit much I like wearing I like my bags like I like nice quality bags but I don't need you to necessarily know what I have like of course for my tote bag it has the traditional like you know triangle like Prada original triangle and my wallet is the same way um but that's because like you know that's the classic Prada like look this bag here is to me is not like super duper flashy um when it comes to just like the design on it um, just having the the name on it I can always turn my bag over and you don't know what it is you don't know it's a designer bag um, unless you like no bags like you won't know that this is a designer bag um, but this is the thing that kind of made me nervous about this I was not sure because this is silver metallic hardware and you know, I'm a gold accent girl. I have gold accessories on right now, okay? I'm not silver, like I don't do that. 
I do gold. It's different. It's more unique. It's like more of a hard look because of the color of it. It's not super duper shiny. Um, you know, like some is. It's like a darker, like silver color. It's not like that bright, bright silver, which is really pretty, I think. Um, so this is me being a little bit different, but still going with something that is like a really cute crossbody that I can like carry wherever. This is something that is really usable. It's still big. Like, it's a very nice sized bag. I can still fit a whole bunch of stuff in it, but it's not a huge bag. Like, my first part of purchase is a big bag. Like, I have to, like, be going a certain place to use this. I can wear this wherever. I can dress this up. I can dress this down. Like, it's classic. It's beautiful. Um, I was deciding between this one and the other crossbody with the same, same quilted look, um, but it has a flap. It's the flap one, not the zipper, but I prefer a zipper because I just don't want anything to come out. Like if I, like if this bag topples over, nothing's going to come out of it, you know? You know, even though it's calf, it's a soft calf, it's still very sturdy and thick and durable. So I really like that as well. Okay, so we'll get inside the bag. This is like, you can tell it's super duper fresh because I can barely like open it. <laughs> um, it has a little flap here that you can stick things in. I would probably stick like, you know, my keys or my phone in this section here, this compartment. Um, you could stick some cash in it and it also has a zipper in here as well. And also the Prada emblem with the little zipper closure in here. You can store things in. But this is gorgeous. Like, it's a gorgeous bag. It's beautiful. I'm in love with it. Like, I was so excited. I couldn't wait to wear it. But I really wanted, like I said, to show you guys me, like, fully unboxing it so you could see the whole, like, effect of everything. Really pretty bag. Let's hear the zipper inside. And if it's my, you know, phone, if it's my wallet, it'll fit um, my camera, my vlogging camera. Now that I have a vlogging camera, it'll fit that in there. Like, but it's still small enough that I'm not going to feel like, oh, this is a bulky bag. I can't carry this into, you know certain places because it's just going to be too much into certain places like if i was going to a party and going to a bar going to a club lounge whatever tight place tight space um i don't have to worry about this like i i know it's going to be a nice size and i won't have to worry about it being too big so yes that's the cross body guys and you will be seeing it all over my Instagram because I'm going to be wearing this bag like out, okay? Um, I also made another purchase while I was there because like, you know, I feel like my mom taught me that if you're going to buy a bag, you need to buy a wallet to match the bag. You need a wallet with the bag. I don't need to get the same kind of bag every time, you know, when I'm making these purchases. So I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So this one came in this little cute little box. The aesthetics, again, Prada. The aesthetics, the aesthetics. Yes, yes, yes. So let's undo this little, oh, the ribbon. Oh. <laughs> it's upside down. Oh. <laughs> So, let's take this off. Like, I, I really, like, am absolutely in love with these boxes, guys. Full effect, full effect. And unto this. Ooh. Ooh. Are y'all shook like I am? Are y'all shook like I am? You see that pop of color? Mm. Ah. Who am I? First of all, this is the same soft calf. 
but this is more um, convenient and small. This is a little wallet. It has the cash section. You can fit the cash in. It has the little coin area. The only thing I don't like, which makes sense that it wouldn't be in this wallet, but I don't like that it's just um, open like this. It's not like a zipper. I'd rather have a zipper for the coins because the coins are going to be, the minute I like turn this upside down, the coins are going to be everywhere whatever um but it has like you know space for my cards this is like all my essentials that I, everything that i need and then also has a nice little pocket here behind the coins that you could stick something else in um but the thing that i love about this is i can just take this with me like this where i need to go if i don't want to carry a bag i can just carry this and it has the essentials it has everything i need in it and go same of course the same soft calf leather um they actually did not have i was going to get it in black but they did not have it in black but it's okay because this gave me a chance to like kind of come out of my comfort zone and get something different i'm just going in my bag and boom yes beautiful beautiful yes it's just gorgeous and black and red like who am i y'all for real do y'all know <laughs> got in this little bag here so i walked out of prada with some samples and that's what I love about them. Like, their customer service has been great so far. Like, every time I've been in there, it's been great customer service. Um, and they always, like, let me, you know, give me something to take with me. Like, a little sample. So, I got the fragrances. Um, I got the Prada Mandarin fragrance, Eau de Parfum. Okay. And this is a... Okay, y'all see it? There we go. Um, this, yes, yeah, so this is the Mandarin. I'm probably going to just keep it in this little box here just to make sure that this glass does not break. Um, but yeah, they gave me a sample of this. Then they also gave me a sample of the Prada Candy and Sugar Pop. Fragrance is Prada Candy, but this one is a different one, a newer one. This is Sugar Pop. Um, so I already smelled the Mandarin. Oh, this is so cute. Aww. Ah, very pretty. Let's see. This one doesn't have, like, I really wish they had spritzers, but I guess, you know, it's a sample, so I should just be happy. We have to waft it on, too. That smells really good. This is a sweet smell. The mandarin is a citrusy smell, fresh citrusy kind of smell. Um, but they're both kind of light, which is good. This is what I got, guys. This is my unboxing, my next prada bag tell me to sit down okay in the comments tell me to have several seats please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video leave me a comment below have you purchased your first designer bag have you bought a bag that you love it doesn't have to be like a high-end designer bag but some bag that you just were like so pressed to get that you finally got leave a comment below and let me know how that went okay let's start a dialogue don't forget to press that subscribe button and make sure that you share this video with a friend and push that notification bell and i will see you guys in my next video bye love bugs uh, uh, uh.